to check if your Chromebook could run Windows operating system. Click on the search icon on your Chromebook taskbar and type Chrome colon forward slash forward slash system and press enter. Scroll down to VPD 2.0 and beside VPD 2.0, click on expand to check the model of Chromebook that you are using. So I have an HP Chromebook 11 Genesis EE. That is my model name. Alternately, you can check the stickers on your Chromebook for the Chromebook model that you are using. The stickers on your Chromebook, you can check the model from it. With this information, open your internet browser and search for the model name of your Chromebook plus specs. So I have an HP Chromebook 11 Genesis EE. I'm searching for the specs of this particular Chromebook. We are going to check the exact processor that our Chromebook uses. I have an Intel Celeron N3350 or N3450. Either of them will do. So with this information, go to coolstar.org. At this website, we will check if our Chromebook is supported. Click on Chromebooks. Click on Install select your manufacturer i have an hp so i'll select hp if you have dell you select dell isa you select isa click next and then you select the processor that you just searched for so i have an intel celeron n3350 or n3450 if your processor is part of this list then you can run windows on your chromebook if your processor is not part of this list, unfortunately for you, you cannot run Windows on your Chromebook. We will come back to this website to download the drivers after successfully installing Windows on our Chromebook. Now, to start the Windows installation process, we need to put our Chromebook into developer mode. To put your Chromebook into developer mode, click on the Escape, Refresh and the Power button at the same time whilst your Chromebook is probably off here. Yeah. You'll be greeted with this screen, insert a recovery USB stick, click on Ctrl D, press Ctrl D rather, sorry, turn OS verification off, press enter, local data will be cleared. So before you start this, you need to back up any file that you want to keep. Press Ctrl D again, OS verification is off. Our system or Chromebook will transition into developer mode in 30 seconds. This time I will finish in 30 seconds and another time I will start, which is probably preparing system for developer mode. And that one will be a little bit longer than the first one for, I think it's four minutes or something. So I'll skip most of it. Our system is now in developer mode. It will start as a new Chromebook. So press Ctrl D to skip this. Now you need to connect to a Wi-Fi. You can use your phone to hotspot or you can connect to a network. Just make sure you're connected to the internet. Click on get started. Connect to your preferred Wi-Fi or network. Check for updates. Click on next. And we will browse as guest. But before we do that, we need to disable write protection on our Chromebook. So let's switch our Chromebook off and check the write protection. To check or disable write protection on your Chromebook, you need to unscrew the back cover of your Chromebook and expose the motherboard. You, we are looking for a screw with WP, which is write protection by it. If you have that screw, all you have to do is unscrew it. If you do not have that screw, which is the WP screw, you need to disconnect the battery from the motherboard and that will disable write protection. If that doesn't work for you, then you have to watch my other video that I did 
which is how to disable write protection type with node write protect screw i'll leave the link there let me um remove the keyboard from the board to give you a clearer view of the motherboard that i have so we are searching for a screw with the wp byte it is usually unique compared to the other screws on the motherboard because it has a very flat surface and it's a little bit bigger than the screws i did not find that screw on my motherboard so i will disconnect the battery to disable write protection if after still disconnecting the battery or removing the screws um as we go forward in this video you need you will see if the right protection was disabled successfully or not but let's connect our adapter first let's connect our charger to take a while to start up Control d to skip and then we are going to browse as guest make sure you are connected to the internet as i already said the wi-fi and click on Control alt t to open crush Control alt t to open crush this is how we use the course in the previous video but at this time it will not work so i'll show you another way to do it if you get this error so after typing shell you see that we get an error so we will press Control alt and the forward um arrow key or control out f2 if you are using an external keyboard at this point you type chronos c h r o n o s as your password if you are asked and then type in these codes cd semicolon curl dash capital l o dash small k https colon forward slash forward slash mr chromebox dot tech slash firmware dash util dot sh you leave a space ambassand ambassand you leave a space pseudo bash firmware dash util dot sh you just type it as you see it on the screen so in our previous video we didn't do it this way but i'm getting a lot of uh, questions about how to do it if you after typing the shell you get an error and this is how to do it you press ctrl alt f2 or the forward arrow and then you get this and then you type chronos as your password and you type in these codes to download the full rom firmware which will help us flash our chromebook and install windows on it just make sure you type it well and you you should see this downloading supporting files and others wait a little bit and then as you see the fw uh, wp which is the firmware right protects is disabled if yours is still enabled at this point you should go back and watch the video well on how to disable the right protection maybe you didn't remove the correct screw or you have not disconnected the battery so we'll select option 2 which is install update uefi full rom firmware this is 2 on mine it could be 3 or 4 on yours so select the one that says install update uefi full rom firmware i'll select 2 yes i want to do it if you wish to continue type i accept so you type i accept in caps and you insert a usb drive which will save your firmware backup make sure this usb drive is formatted in fat format or you get an error i previously got an error before i formatted it in fat format make sure it's formatted in fat format not ntfs back up the firmware we might use the firmware later if we want to go back to the chrome os after backing it up you remove the backup drive and then press enter to download the full rom firmware we need to back it up before you could go forward you cannot skip this so make sure you have your two pen drives available usb drives and then do it now we will connect our battery back 
and then the keyboard and the touchpad and then screws all the screws on the back cover make sure your windows 10 bootable usb drive is ready at this point you need to watch other videos on how to create windows 10 usb bootable usb drive click on the escape button boot menu navigate to boot menu and select the windows 10 bootable usb drive for the windows 10 bootable usb drive there are other videos online on how to create it if you do it offline use rufus and select um uefi or gpt when you are creating it offline if you are creating it online it will automatically have the legacy and uefi or something i couldn't add it to this video this video would be very very long if you do not have a mouse at this point you can use the tab key on your keyboard to navigate and make changes and install windows i recommend you um, insert a usb mouse at this point and continue with the windows installation process you select your language um, country i don't have the product code i prefer to use windows 10 pro you select whichever one you want to use click on next if, uh, you can click on the space bar to check the i accept the license terms box select custom install now you can see the drive is a partitioned into several drives you can click on each one and delete it or a short way to do this is to press shift f10 click uh, or press shift f10 to open command prompt cmd type disk part D I S K P A R T and select uh, click sorry and type list dex select dex zero which is usually the internal drive we have a 32 GB drive and it shows 29 but it's 32 I don't know why it shows like that but you select this zero you type clean clean to clean the drive and all the partitions will be deleted click on the back arrow to go back once again click on custom install and you see the drive is now in one shape it is in one drive or one partition you click new apply you are not going to partition this drive any further it's just 32 so we will leave it as it is and the windows installation process will start it will copy from step to step the, there will be no er errors um so the windows is almost done that rabbit logo that shows shows that we were able to successfully install the full rom or update you select your country keyboard layout i'll not add another keyboard i don't have internet continue with limited setup and type a name and the password you want to use accept and the windows is almost done now we will go back to the website that we use to check if our chromebook is compatible to run windows or not which is coolstar.org Fortunately for us, our Wi-Fi is working, so we will connect to a network on and on this same Chromebook, we will download the drivers to make everything work perfectly fine. Let's check if the VGA is installed. It's not yet installed, so we will go to coolstar.org and check if we will find the drivers there. click on google we're going to search through google kusta.org and you select our chromebook model as we did in the first part of the video we will download 
the drivers that match our Chromebook. I think there is some touchpad, uh, touchscreen drivers. My Chromebook doesn't have touchscreen, so I'll not download that one. I don't know. I'll download the ones that will work for mine. I'll download the CR50. So whatever option that is available for your own model of Chromebook, you download all those drivers. And before you download it, you check the instructions. You read the instructions to download it. Um, I'm getting an error that this might harm my device, the driver that I'm trying to download. But I'll keep it anyway because this is from a trusted source. This is the touchpad driver. I'll keep that one as well. Download it for my Chromebook the sound drivers for the sound drivers i think we will have to sign up to uh, another site to download it but i'll not do that i run the three drivers that i was able to download we will run anyway sometimes you get this error but it's nothing you should just run it anyway it's not going to break your computer after running the drivers that we could afford to download, you can see the touchpad is working now, so there is no need to use an external mouse at this point. And you go to settings and check for Windows Update, Windows Update, View Optional Update, and select all the optional updates and download and install it. Do not leave any update out. There are, after the updates, is done you click on update and restart you update and restart your pc now let's check if our display drivers is installed and you can see it's installed that's the most important thing after installing the windows the vga for the sound we can connect a bluetooth device or a sound card and use it or you could sign up and then download it it depends maybe for your model you will get the sound driver for free i hope this video helps you if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section i'll leave all the links to the sites that we visited in the video description below don't forget to subscribe share and like my videos